What's going on, YouTube? This is SG1 Sports, and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our schedule preview and projected record series. The Purdue Boilermakers are up next. Before we get to the 2024 schedule, let's look back at 2023. Here is a schedule from last season for Purdue. You can see a 4 8 record, but you know they beat some pretty good teams. They beat Virginia Tech on the road, uh, beat Illinois, Minnesota, Indiana. You know those weren't great teams, but. Uh, you know, I think Purdue was a little bit better than their record would suggest. You look at their losses, you know, Fresno State definitely was a tough one, but, um, you know, they didn't have any terrible losses. It was just a tough schedule, and you're going to get more of the same in 2024. The good news is you do get an easy win there with Indiana State. They had no easy wins last year. You look at the non-conference, you've got that game against Indiana State, and then you've got Notre Dame, and then on the road at Oregon State. Now, Oregon State... You know they're they're not going to be anything like they were last season with the coaching change and all the transfers, but they'll they sh you know still should be decent. And you have to play that game on the road, so that won't be an easy win there. All right, look at the home schedule. We've got again Indiana State, Notre Dame, Nebraska, Oregon, Northwestern, and Penn State. Uh, yeah, it's going to be tough for Purdue to get a win at home uh, in the conference. Nebraska, Northwestern, maybe you can find a way to win one or maybe even both of those games if they improve this season but uh, you know it's a it's a tough home schedule it is a very tough home schedule you look at the road schedule again oregon state there's wisconsin on the road illinois ohio state michigan state indiana you'd like to have michigan state indiana illinois you'd like to have those games at home because i think you'd have a real good sh a, a much better chance of winning those games those are games that you can win it's always tough when you're a bad team and i'm not saying purdue is going to be bad but if you're you know, one of the, the lower teams in your conference. It's it's always tough when you have uh, games against good teams at home. You'd like to play those games on the road because you're probably not going to win them anyway. You'd rather play these games, again, like Illinois, Michigan State, Indiana. You'd rather have those games at home. So it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be tough for Purdue again uh, this season. You look at the schedule again, August 31st, Indiana State. Then they play Notre Dame on September 14th at home. And then it's on the road at Oregon State on the 21st, Nebraska on the 28th. And by the way, let me circle back here. They actually get their first bye week in week two. So they'll play Indiana State and then get a bye week. So they're going to have extra time to prepare for Notre Dame. Really, they, you know, if they don't spend a lot of time on Indiana State, Purdue's going to have basically all offseason to prepare for Notre Dame. So that could be interesting. If that's the route that they take, watch out. Maybe that's a big upset early in the season. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but... Uh, that's just an interesting dynamic there. And then they've got, uh, again, Nebraska coming up on the 28th. Then they get Wisconsin on October the 5th on the road. Illinois on the 12th. So back-to-back -back road games there. And again, Illinois is a team I think you can beat, but you have to play them on the second of a back-to-back -back on the road. I mean, that, that's going to be tough. Then they have Oregon on the 19th. Then they get their second bye week before playing Northwestern on November 2nd. Then they go on the road to play Ohio State on the 9th, Penn State on the 16th. And again, you look at, at winnable games for them, Michigan State and Indiana, they have to play them both back-to-back -back on the road. So I just don't like the way this schedule sets up for Purdue. Um, it's, you know, again, probably the easiest games on this schedule outside of Indiana State are Oregon State, Illinois, Michigan State, and Indiana. All of those games are on the road. Uh, you have Illinois on the second game of back-to-back -back road games. Indiana's a back-to-back road game. So it's just a tough schedule the way it sets up for Purdue. And if you're looking for this team to get to a bowl game, uh, I don't know that this schedule gets them there unless they make some major improvements. And I do think this team will be better. Better enough with this schedule. I don't know. It's going to be tough for Purdue in 2024. Here were some of the projections from last season. You can see, of course, 4-8 and eight record for Purdue. Our projection had them at 6-6. Six and six. I actually picked them to go 4-8. and eight. So I... Uh, was right on the money this team was not high on them and remember they were coming off of a big 10 championship game but if you just looked at the roster and the schedule again that schedule was really tough last year it was just tough for me to to see them doing better than four and eight that's what i went with uh, athlon had them at five and seven the over under was at five and a half so um they did you know they underperformed and again if you really looked at this roster the, there's really no reason to predict them to go, especially six and six. But again, our projections are very conservative, and it is based a lot off of the previous season, and that's why that projection was so high. But my prediction again was four and eight. Uh, so you look at the schedule again. This is the scale that we use. If it's under 20, over 80, those are pretty much guaranteed wins or losses. 20 to 29, 71 to 80 games where the spread should be 
by you know a couple touchdowns double digits for sure 30 to 39 61 to 70 games where it should be closer to a touchdown spread and then at 40 to 60 those are your 50 50 games games that could go either way and it's really not about the spreads again i have a tier system that i use uh, to do this projection but with, for, for purdue you do have that one easy game indiana state something they did not have last season they've got one game that they should be able to go out there and take care of business in and it's week one so that's that's really nice you, you get a game go find out about your team then you get a bye week uh so that that could actually work out for a team like purdue we'll see uh you look at other games where they should be favored and there, there just aren't any and there aren't any other games where they're going to be a clear favorite i think wisconsin is a game where they're going to be you know about a touchdown underdog maybe more depending on how good wisconsin is and again how much purdue improves if they do improve uh, but we're going to put that one in the yellow a game again where i think they'll be about a touchdown underdog and then you look at uh, some other games where it's going to be really tough. Notre Dame, I think, you know, they do get that game at home. They get that that bye week early in the season before that game. And so maybe they've got a chance, but I think they're going to be at least a two-touchdown underdog in that game. But, you know, a lot of things going for them. Again, if you're looking for a big upset early in the season, maybe that's it. You know, you get them at home, extra time to prepare. Uh, that's that's going to be an interesting game there. I think it could wind up being closer than you might expect. And that's why, again, it does come in the orange uh, because it is at home and, and just using the tier system that we use. Purdue is two tiers below Notre Dame, but home field advantage puts that one just in the orange, not quite in the red. We do have three games in the red, though. Oregon, Ohio State, Penn State. Really just don't see Purdue having any chance in any of these games. Uh, they should be you know, 20 plus point underdogs in all three of them. And again, it's just going to be tough for them to find a win in any of these games. So now you go to the, the rest of the schedule. Uh, there really aren't any, again, aren't any games where you're going to say they're a clear favorite. Maybe they're favored against Illinois, but that's on the road. And Nebraska may be their favorite at home. Oregon State, maybe, but again, it's on the road. Uh, Northwestern, pretty much going to be a toss up since it's at home. Michigan State, Indiana. Again, Purdue might be better than those two teams. They might not. We'll see, but they're on the road. So probably underdogs in just about every one of these games. Not by much, but a little bit of an underdog. Maybe a three or four, three or four point underdog. And so it's going to be tough again for Purdue to get to a bowl game with only one game where they're going to be favored. And so when you average it all out, you get uh, the same record as last year. Actually, one game better. One game better than last year. Five and seven. So a five and seven projection for Purdue. Um, not quite getting to a bowl game, but a little bit of an improvement. You know, this team could be a lot better than they were last year, but with this schedule, you just might not see that in their record. At the end of the day, it's just going to be tough for them to find wins. But again, our projection is 5-70. and 70. Agree? Do you disagree? Give us your thoughts on Purdue down in the comments below.